All right, here we're gonna go through a few options and draw up a few options for forwards to create time, space, and scoring opportunities in a three on two situation, okay? So if we have our defenseman here, and we have forward, 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 all right? So we have a puck carry here coming down the ice, defenseman's coming with them. This middle forward and this strong side forward really need to make a decision here, all right? Typically what you see a lot of forwards doing in the middle is they want to come to the strong side and they want to create a two-on-one -on, -one on this defenseman with a drop pass opportunity and this forward's going to go to the net hard, okay? What you're doing here is you're essentially isolating your best opportunity, which is to create plays through the middle of the rink. If you're coming through the middle of the rink, you're going to be able to force defensemen to back off and you're going to create more time and space for yourself because the middle of the rink is where goal scorers are going to make plays. You're not going to score goals from the outside of the ice. You need to get to the middle of the rink. So let's look at that situation and let's look at what we can do to create more time, space, opportunities for ourselves, and force these defensemen to make plays, okay? Don't make it easy on the defenseman. Force the defenseman to make plays. We're coming here, we're attacking outside with speed, defenseman's backing up. Let's go hard here in the middle forward through the strong side, all right? So again, we're isolating this defenseman on a two-on-one. This forward now can lay back a little bit. Now we have this defenseman to make a decision. Is he gonna allow this two-on-one here, or is he gonna back up with this forward? This defenseman backs up, leaving this passing lane here wide open, all right? For this forward on, this, on the weak side, we don't want to be in a situation where we're coming all the way back across here to the strong side. Again, we're staying on a weak side a little bit, so now if these two defensemen are cheating towards the middle as we have a player coming hard here, if you get that pass across, you have plenty of time and space here on the weak side of the rink, and that goalie's got to move all the way across the ice, versus if you're standing right here, you already have two defensemen right here, they're just going to come right out and attack you. All right, so be patient, get, in the, get in high inside the blue line, stay on the weak side of the ring, keep your forward momentum, don't be coming straight across the ice this way, and allow yourself just to get right in this passing lane right here, okay? Just slow down the play a little bit. Last thing we're going to talk about here, all right, is what if this, this third forward is late, okay? So you have a third forward coming back here, He's getting to the play late. Again, typically what you're going to see is this forward wanting to come back here and be the trailer. What we want you to do here is take this puck wide forward. Second forward is going to come all the way from the outside. You're going to come all the way through the middle, and you're going to be the middle drive, driving these defensemen back. And this third forward, again, you're going to come down the middle. You're going to delay time and space, and you're going to come to the weak side of the rink, cheat over to the weak side of the rink for that pass across, or now this forward can make a play here to the middle as well if these defensemen are cheating up, okay? So don't just immediately default to following that puck carrier right up the middle of the, or right behind him on the outside of the rink, all right? Default is attack with speed through the middle as soon as you get over that second forward gets over the blue line. It's okay and you're going to make more plays in a three-on-two if you have two forwards going hard to the net. So if you're not communicating, you don't know who's going to do what, both forwards go hard to the net. That's fine. Now you have three players in this area with the puck. Good things are going to happen, okay? So you need to understand that playmakers and goal scorers are going to the middle of the rink. They're attacking the net hard. They're making plays to the net. Don't hang out on the outside of the rink expecting to get a pass, thinking that you're doing a good job because you're in, you're open, you're in a passing lane, you're getting a drop pass, and then you take it all the way down to the corner. All right, that's not a good three on two play. Players in the 24 7 Hockey Academy, we're going to break down professional players that you can watch doing this drill that you can study from, going over exactly how it should be executed properly. Other players, you can study this. Study this tutorial, learn from it, watch it, and this is how you create scoring opportunities in a three-on-two situation.